What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and you might be surprised right now, I'm playing Minecraft. Uh, I haven't had a Minecraft YouTube video in a very, very, very long time. But uh, I think they're going to come back now, due to this series I'm going to start, which is a Minecraft SMP server. It is a survival multiplayer server. It is exclusively for a bunch of us Scrolls players. Um, thanks to Spiffy Drew for uh, getting this realm server. And uh, it's just a normal survival multiplayer SMP server. You can compare it to things like the Minecraft server or Hermitcraft. Uh, there's a little less than 20 of us right now, 20 of us Scrolls players. And we've just been playing on this server, which we call the Beetlestone Society. If you didn't know, Beetlestone is a scroll in Scrolls. So, um, yeah, it's just going to be a lot of fun. I have played a bit already I kind of went out like a thousand or so blocks because I thought I was gonna build something far away and I mined a bit but then I kind of got bored being so far far away from everybody else so I think I'm gonna move back to spawn town here make a little starter house in spawn town and then we'll make it like a base sometime later but uh, I just took back my valuables so uh, this is everything I have so far and um yeah, so I guess that's about it. If you didn't know, uh, I started this channel playing Minecraft. I got into scrolls through Minecraft. And I hope I can renew my passion for playing, for crafting with this series. So this is a, this is a Spawn Town. This is where you spawn. I'm going to take a quick tour around here because I haven't really even done that myself yet. I kind of just, when I got in the server, I kind of just ran off. Uh, right now, let's see who's on. That is uh, the Purple Pansy. Um, he streams scrolls and stuff. He's a nice guy. Uh, usually there's like a couple people on here. It's, we seem to play it a lot. There's a little, a little less than 20 of us. Um, so this is, I guess, the spawn monument. It is supposed to be a beetle stone, I believe. A beetle stone scrolls kind of just looks like a rock. So I guess it, I guess it is accurate. So somebody, uh, mined a bunch of obsidian for this. So let's see what's in here. The rules, be nice and have fun, no stealing, no griefing, please set your trade shop at the, yep, I might make a trade shop near spawn here. Uh, yep, pranks are allowed, no front damage, keep spawn area pretty, no creeper holes, okay, yep, you can do some trading, yep, respectful, be nice, and have fun. So this is the kind of server that I always wanted to be a part of, just normal survival Minecraft, with other people in the world too. No like PvP or anything like that. It's just a survival server. So uh, here's the nether portal. You know what? That's three by three. It's cool. I'm not gonna go in that right now. I haven't been to the nether yet. Maybe maybe I'll look to see if somebody's building like a hub there for us. But here, so this like is a bridge that leads to what we have in Spawn Town so far. It looks like there's like a potions sh potion shop over there. Somebody built that. It's pretty cool. So let's take a scroll through. So uh, off the top of my head, people on the server you might know are people like uh, Scrolls players, Blinky, Magpie Man, Orangey, uh, the Purple Pansy. I know there's, I think there's a little more than 15 of us in here, and uh, I'm not sure if anybody else is making. I know people are like starting to record videos on here. I'm not sure if there's any other video series up on YouTube yet. So. Somebody uh, made these paths here, and let's check out what we have going on in Spawn Town. Hopefully we can make a shop or a house over here. Pretty Rich's house. Binding root has plagued this house. Yeah, so I guess some people are making scrolls themes and references. Binding root is a scrolls card, and I guess uh, these vines will be binding root. So we don't have to make like a scrolls theme build, but it could be an idea. Like, I know, uh, I forgot, I think it was Spiffy Drew. I think his plan is to make his base in a swamp and make it, like, a decay-themed uh, swamp. Like, Ilmire with, like, Witch Doctor and all that stuff in the Witch Hut. But, so that's, like, a cool idea. Alright, so this is, uh, who is this? Whose house was this? Pretty Rich's house. Yeah, so, if we make a house and spawn here, we're probably not going to live in it long. It's probably going to be something small. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not going to go through anybody's chest. I'm going to see what people have going on. So apparently Purdy Rich sure likes the dogs. <laughs> um, ladder up to his roof. Hmm. I, 
think people, people have been playing on the server more than me so far, so I might be a little poor in the, like, resources, uh, department, but I think, I think we'll be okay. So let's see, let's follow this path to the right, actually. There's a lot of signs here, that's nice to know what's going on. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Um, oh look, who's that? Uh, that must be uh, Pansy because he's the only one on the server. Looks like he's just getting some trees. Uh, badger is, I'm part of the Badger Guild in Skrull, so I assume that's the badger they're talking about. I don't know what this mushroom came from, but probably just someone to put those signs down. I'm not sure if this is a community wheat farm. It may be. I have I have a bunch of seeds and wheat from when I went away for a while, so I, don't, I might need I might pick some up from here, but I'll see. I assume that's a community community mob farm. I guess go this way down this path. Negative. Here, let's see. This is those are the cords. Okay, so that's where the community mob farm is. Um, let's take a right here. What's this? The cobblestone trust. Please put spare cobble in the chest when you have it. Take some if you're going to need it for a build. Cobblestone trust. That's nice. If you need cobblestone, you can come here. If you don't need it, you can drop it off for other players. So this is what makes survival multiplayer Minecraft a lot of fun because you can work together. Hi. Well, my inventory's kind of full. I can't really. I, I'm going to keep my 49 pieces of cobble in my inventory right now. It'd be nice to see who set these little uh, community things up. Okay, let's see what's over here. Spiffy Drews, Spiftastic Emporium, no fruits. Temporary closed, temporarily closed to the public, so I won't go in here. Probably some old shop he never actually got going. Uh, so this looks probably like Spiffy Drews, like a house or something. Yeah, the Beetlestone looks cooler from far away. The Beetlestone monument. So I guess this is his cow farm. This looks like a little like house area, this like area for Spiffy Drew. He's potatoes and carrots. I don't have potatoes and carrots yet. If I don't find one of them, I might just lend one from somebody else to start my own farm. Dragon's place. Oh, this is not Spiffy Drew's place. I guess that's just Spiffy Drew's like little emporium, whatever. Dragon's place. This is mailbox, I guess. Uh, yeah, I know Dragon. He's a uh, he's a dragon and something in scrolls. I think he's the leader of a guild. Cool little house he has going here. Sandstone. I like this place. Nice and small. A little cozy. Nice little spawn house. And he has a horse. The enchantment enchanting down there. Not gonna waste too much time going through everybody's house and like going through all their little nooks and crannies. But it is cool to see what people have made. So he looks he's he's gotten on pretty far here basement over here and it looks like it goes to a mine shaft. That's cool. It goes outside also. Alright. Uh, where am I going? Let's get out of here. And I, a lot of these guys on the server are very good at redstone. Which is good because that is not somewhere where I am very confident in. Like file a tutorial as good as anybody, but uh, I'm not good at making redstone contraptions on the fly. So for other people being able to make good stuff on the server, that's good. All right. Um. So. Oh, we didn't check out what's down there. I think. I can sprint a little bit. It's fine. I have 16 pieces of steak. I'm sure if I ran out of food. Uh, somebody would lend me like a couple cows to start my own farm. Well, I'll need a couple cows to start my own farm. What's this over here? Is this a house? Oh, down there looks like somebody. A little pot over there. I'm not gonna be straying off and exploring. Like, I'm not gonna be showing people's houses in the video that aren't part of the spawn village. I think that's a little waste of time right now. The Church of Notch. Pray for a good crop of kids. I'm sorry, pumpkin. You you continue to pray. There's no there's no uh, priest or minister in here. Donations for notch. You know what, I'll I'll donate something. 
Uh, looks like people like to give them their saplings. Uh, what do I not even need? Any? Most of these things are pretty valuable. I'll give him. I don't want to give my first wooden pick. I'll give him some shears. There you go, Notch. That makes sense, right? Shears. I think sheep are a big part of like the Bible. Has some has some relation. Hey look, these sheep are right over here. Okay, so it's pretty light over here when the mobs come and attack us. Alright. It's taking a little while here just exploring. But it's very nice to see what other people have built. Get some inspiration for my own kind of shop or something. Let's see. The spruced up mud house of soup of the Super Simone. Yep, I'm sure you might know him from Scrolls. He is a nice big member of the community as well. A little starter hut. Make sure you have food because it's a long walk. Hope I have food. Okay, I think these signs are just like going together. There's like a long walk to the mob farm. I'm not sure if it's an, exp and if it's an XP farm or just drop farm. I'll have to check that out. But it's not like I really have that many things I want to enchant now anyways. I guess I can enchant the town pick. Some unspoils. Do not touch. It's all gone. Okay, what's this? Orangey is like having some fun here. Alright. So I think I want to get in some of these shenanigans these guys are having. Okay. Uh, a little tree farm over here. I'm not sure if this is public or not. What's this? Pansy's home. Work in progress. Let's give him a visit. So I guess that's going to be Pansy's home at spawn. I don't know what this is. Hmm. Maybe that's Pansy's house. Maybe that's where he was living for now. Who knows. Alright, so it looks like people down here are, I think, Orange. I think that's Orangey's place. He's he's uh played a lot. He has a nice head start. Uh, what is this over here? Scepio's Advanced Operations. I know from Scrolls, Scepio. Um, this is a cool little place. Not really a. Yeah, it's more of a base than a house. No real doors here. I think it is. It's like. Where he lives, though, because it's a lot of chess. Some people have moved out. Like, I know Blinky, like, is a little ways off making a castle and stuff. It's a cool little place for Scepio. All right, we've found a spot where we can make our house. There's not really an open path where I maybe I could extend the path. So this is what drew my drew attention to me. So this looks like a potion. Probably a potion shop here. Looks like somebody's setting up a potion shop, but it's not actually a one smile ball. What's a smile ball? I'll just figure that out. <laughs> All right, cool little shop here. I've been almost 15 minutes here just exploring, but it's been pretty cool to see what other people have made. Going on these stairs, that's like Orangey's place, I believe. Um, let's just check it out. Looks like a pretty cool builder. I know he said he's very good at redstone. You see the walls are lined with redstone even. So leave some comments down below if you have any ideas how, how, what should make my, like, my main base out of. I think my first little starter house near spawn won't be anything too special. This is actually a pretty cool place for orangey. This little sandstone cave base. Looks like he's extending this. Awesome. Alright. I think it's time to... Uh, we have been cereals. I mean, it's not like we just started playing because I... About a week ago, I just went out, like, like I said, a thousand blocks and just did whatever. 
So we have materials so we can get set up a house relatively quickly. Before I do that, um, I think I saw in our Beetle Slim Society Skype chat. I'm not sure her, but somebody was, I think, setting up another hub. It's a, I mean, we have like big ambitions for this server, so like the, it's like a nice another hub with uh, paths, like multiple paths you can use to get to people's like homes far away. Because eventually, I assume we're gonna be like spread out with our bases. So let's go over here. Let's see how it's going. And then I guess we'll get started with a little starter home. Hopefully we don't get too much lag here. And it looks like pretty cool. Somebody has dug out like the kind of how how it would look like the hub. And I guess there would be like little like compartments where rails can go off in directions. Mob farm. Hmm? Let's go this way. I see a portal down there. Maybe this is just a faster way to the mob farm that we didn't uh, go to, that the signs were leading to before in town. Maybe we'll be led there. Let's see what it is. If there's an open enchantment table, we can use it, and it works. And maybe I'll enchant my pick. So this is this the community mob farm? I think so. We got swords, food. Oh, nice. There's some food. I think I might take a couple pieces today because I'm not that, uh, not that much stuff. Pretty high above the ground. Where are we? Looks like there's a cool mob farm up here. I wonder if we built this. Next episode, I think I'll do a little more investigating and see a bunch of this stuff. It's pretty cool. Nice things for the community. Blank books and enchanted books. Well, I don't think anybody's gonna be leaving their enchanted books here. Uh, I think I might uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll do this later. Uh, Is there one hit? Hmm. I'm not gonna sit here and do this right now. I'll probably have that pick enchanted by next video. All right, I'm gonna go back now. To do. Uh, am I going the right way? Yeah. Sorry if it was a little bit loud, I just lowered my volume. I noticed it was a little loud from the video I was watching before, that was very low. Okay. Uh, so we're back here. Let's see, where's a little place we can make a little home? Or we don't have to make it directly in spawn bales, but I like to make my first home kind of close to it. Let's see if there's a nice like open area off of, off of the path here that we can set up a little little shack, a little hut. Uh, what about right here? Close to spawn, right off the path, right here. I think this could be a Nice spot for us. We have easy access to the uh, Church of Notch. We can do our um, our Sunday praying there, and I think this is gonna be cool. Okay, I'm not gonna build anything too extravagant right here. Uh, why don't we get down a workbench? Or we don't really need a workbench, I guess. Maybe. Well, let's start building with what tools we already have. Yeah, it's been a very long time just since I've just built something in Minecraft in survival mode, like without following a tutorial or anything. Just try to build our own house over here. Before we do that, actually, let's uh, fix up my inventory. How did things look? Uh, food. Where's my food? Here's. Uh, let's just clear out some of this stuff. Okay. Actually, I think we're going to build at this level. Yeah. I'll get rid of some of this tall, tall 
grass. So probably won't live here long, but I'll make a nice little mark for mark for myself at spawn. So, we, so the rest of the guys on the server know I'm here and stuff. Okay, uh, let's make a little. So I could I could just go with like a little cozy cottage. Hmm. Okay, it looks like more than enough space now. Hmm. Let's just start building. We'll see where it takes us. I have no plan whatsoever. I'm just gonna make a little hut. Try to make it as best as I can. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Let's have a. One, two, three. I want an odd number. Yeah. One, two. So I can have like one central thing in the middle for the door. You know, even we found these, we can have double doors. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so then we can have doors like one, two, three, four, boom, boom. One, two, wait, no. One, two, three, boom, boom. One, two, three. Okay. Very nice. Like I said, this doesn't look too uh, too extravagant just yet, and it won't be. I assure you. Uh, yes, we're just I guess we're just using the spruce wood because that's all we really have right now. Um, yeah, I guess we are gonna have to put down a crafting bench, crafting table, whatever. Uh, let's make a couple doors. I, mean, I guess I have to keep throwing stuff out of my inventory because I do not have much space here. Come on, pick up the door. Yes. Is that in the middle? Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. Uh, I guess that was kind of stupid because I'm going to have to put blocks down there. Ah, this door is so annoying. Really? I think it's just a glitch. I think it will fix itself. Uh, let's have an... Should we, let's use stone brick because I have smooth stone. Maybe we'll just use stone brick instead of cobblestone. Actually, I have more smooth stone than cobblestone. Yeah, so go like that. Uh, let's just start by using only one of the stacks. Um, let's go with a oak wood floor, maybe. Yeah, I think oak wood floor is gonna be nice. And just conserve on some of some resources. I think I'll make it out of slabs. Sorry for those noises, guys. It's not it's not your notifications. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna just throw some out of my throw some stuff out of my inventory. I don't I don't want stuff to get stuck underneath the half slabs there. I need that. I probably won't need a sword right now. Come on, just pick that up. <laughs> I'm gonna need that. Okay, there we go. Let's go with a door and a door. Sorry, I'm building very slowly right now. Uh, so let's just make an, a frame right here, I guess. But we'll try to build with some depth here. Okay, we could just fill this thing up. I think I can actually. Yeah, I'm gonna try building some depth here. I'm gonna move back a block. Like this. This might actually look kind of nice. I don't know. Uh. Okay. Don't really know what I'm doing here. stairs in there. Where are we here? Up there. Hmm. 
Not too bad, I suppose. All right. <laughs> Doesn't look too bad. Uh, now, hmm. I think I kind of like these logs sticking out. big house here. Why don't we just go some blocks out? Let's see. It's one, two, it's gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks on the interior are long. Let's go in the interior. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks. Okay. It's like that. I think that's good. It's deep enough. A little square hut to start off. Hmm. We need more space, so we'll just go into the basement. And I think I'm gonna need more of this stone. Let's just convert all of it. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need more of this. I'm just building a staircase up right now because I don't want to have an easy way up to the roof while I build it. Ah. Uh, so I guess. Back wall. It's the right plan of action. And let's fill that up with. Here, let's fill, uh. A little bit of with dirt like this side. I guess we want a wood floor on the inside. Okay. Um make sure we don't let that despawn. Now let's go with the wood floor wood floor already. Because if I get the wood floor down, I think I have a better idea of what this house is gonna look like. Which I think will better from the outside as well. Meh. Okay. Yeah, so it, like any of the survival Minecraft series, expect a lot of off-camera work to be done in this uh, in this series. Not not with the first video because I was gonna show you myself getting situated at spawn, but in future videos you don't have to expect to see this kind of stuff. Hey look, did the door fix? Yeah, it fixed itself. I'm just using half slabs to save on wood. Because as you see, I only have so little stuff that I was able to carry back with me in my inventory. Maybe I'll have a back porch leading to my farms, I don't know. Is it worth making farms out here? Maybe. Du -du -du. Yeah, I know that's under there. I'm not. I don't want to leave that. And we actually need more. I think one more thing will do the trick. The reason I'm being so conservative about how many I need is because I really maybe might need that wood. Okay. So, it doesn't look too bad from the inside. Uh, should we put these here? Mm, no. Don't. Looks kind of weird how it's like poked out. Whatever. Uh. So, I guess let's have the back not poked out let's just fill up let's fill off the sides before we add the roof okay yeah I really haven't done many, much exterior building in Minecraft anyways like my first series as you know is my like uh 
my uh, survival world and I just had a huge, really awesome base underground, but I didn't have to do much exterior building. Uh, what am I doing right now? Let's, oh yeah, let's take uh, some spruce. Should we go down to the bottom there? No, actually, let's just make this a little deeper. like that. And I don't know if I really like this sticking out in the front. Eh. It's kind of weird. You know, let's try it. Let's see what it looks like if we don't do that. If we just make it in line. Yeah, I realize it's getting, it's night time. Yeah, let's just go with it in line. I want to create that depth, but I think we have enough of that with the front door. Actually, the front door might be a little too weird. <laughs> not gonna lie here. Doesn't matter, we're not gonna be in here that long. Okay. How's that look? Yeah, the front door looks kinda weird. Whatever. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move this crafting table right out of there. Uh, let's see. Let's build a roof, I guess. Where are, where's the rest of, you know, let's go ahead and, should we make the roof this, oh wait, should we make a three high? Um, here, I'll just start by putting down some furnaces. Let's put them over here. I'm just going to start cooking, actually, more of this cobble. Because... I think I need more to finish this house. Uh... Just where's the yeah here it is. Uh, actually, we need cobble in here also. I hate when my inventory is all messed up. So let's just go with like the old like we'll put like a smooth stone slab on that I think, and this will go up there. This will go up there. That can go there. Yeah. Pretty standard house here. Okay. Um, okay, we're gonna need more of this. Let's put in the rest of this. I guess I could just use dirt as scaffolding right now. Let's take out a few of these. Let's go. How do you make this? No, that's pressure plate. Slab. There we go. Let's, I, th what, I think I'm going to need. I think I need another set of those. I believe. So. Okay. So let's go there. Does that look from the front? Oh, look at the back. Is this on hard? Like, is he gonna pretend the store? Hmm, maybe it's not on hard. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it looks fine. I could put a window somewhere. Uh, what am I doing? Let's grab some more of this. Ugh, my inventory's so full. How much more do we have? We have four left. We're gonna need another set of that. Okay. We're also gonna need more smooth stone to oh, why don't we get this bed down?
so we can at least free up some more space. Okay. Let's, where's our, there we go. Um, I think I'll just take some more. All right, I think that should be enough for now. Okay. We were just up there. I was supposed to put down these things, weren't I? A little long time making this uh, starter hut. Let's go oak stairs for the for the roof. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna have enough oak stairs. But I'll see, even with making those, um, actually I should really should save some for a chest. Yeah, whatever. Let's see. Cut that. Alright, let's see. How are we going to do this? something. get some oak wood. I think we're in like a savanna here so this actually might be annoying. I don't know where I'm gonna get oak wood. I don't even know what that wood even looks like when you- oh it's like orange right? It becomes like orange wood. Come on. That's annoying. We're coming up on 40 minutes here. So I think I might finish this house thing off camera make a little path nervous house maybe set up a couple of farms outside add some windows fix the roof maybe fix this little bulging out front thing but yeah so thank you for watching I hope you are interested in uh, me playing minecraft again and uh, I think I'm gonna be uploading a ultra hardcore match very soon so stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys next time uh, like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you uh, want more content like this, and I will see you all next time. Bye.